hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so the video you're about to see was filmed a long time ago like five months ago and i filmed some clips for it with the very end of it um yesterday and then i realized that i haven't uploaded on youtube in five months and it's going to be a bit confusing if i just jump back into it with one of the old videos that i filmed here i am <laughs> Um, five months later, it's February now, literally when I'm uploading this, and yeah, I just wanted to say, like, I haven't been away for, like, a really specific reason. There's been a lot going on in my life, um, and stuff that I probably won't end up sharing, um, on here, but just, like, know that I've been really busy, and adjusting to uni has been really different. Um, I spent a lot of time socialising last semester and didn't have much time really for filming or editing at all. Even though I really wanted to put content out and I did really miss it. Um, even at Christmas, like going home, I really missed um, the fact that I would normally have filmed a lot of that. So yeah, I wanna get back into it and there's no real reason for where I've been. It's been really, really busy, um, but I have really enjoyed my time at university so far. Um, it's definitely a learning curve and I'm learning new things every single day, like regardless of my course, just how to live um, on my own, um, how to live with flatmates um, and just juggling home life, uni life um, and all the things that I want to do and the people that I want to see and keep in my life. It's definitely a lot of learning um, and I have already learned so much just from the first semester um, but yeah it has been really busy there's lots of things gone on um, I've already found a house for next year which is exciting um, at some point hopefully I'll be able to like to show you all of that um, but yeah this is just a little update there's really not much to say there's things that you'll learn um, that have gone on um, and you'll probably learn just like as I vlog and update my life more but um, yeah <laughs> for where i've been i don't really know um i'm doing good i'm doing okay um just getting through adjusting to this new semester at uni it is quite different um now um to how i felt last semester so just going with that and seeing that but yeah i hope you enjoy my little short vlog of moving in and then a kind of more detailed room tour that i filmed yesterday just showing you kind of what a uni room looks like, especially like at the University of Bath. I hope you enjoy and for where I've been, not really anywhere and I'm hoping to be uploading more. I've already got some videos lined up for you to see. Um, the next video might be my first week at uni, which again I will intro because I think that's going to be a bit confusing, but if it is, enjoy. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoy watching. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting, nerve-wracking, doesn't feel real kind of day. Um, so today is actually the day I move to university. It is currently half past nine um, on Friday the 23rd of September and we need to go about 10 o'clock and I've just got ready. I am dressed in some clothes that make me feel good but also really comfy and you see got my old school there we go and yeah i've still got some last minute packing to do um but we've got like one more suitcase that we can like kind of fill and then we're gonna get going kind of a miserable day outside so i'm really hoping this isn't pathetic fantasy also if you're thinking my hair looks really strange it looks kind of streaky at the moment um, but I literally had some more highlights put in yesterday, so I'm really blonde. Um, but obviously, before you wash it for the first time, after they've washed it, it looks really uniform. So I don't think it looks too bad, but it's just a little bit streaky at the moment. And it's still got a little bit of a curl in from yesterday, which is making me feel quite cute to meet my flatmates. Anyways, I've got to do some last minute packing. I'm going to show you. We've been packing everything in my sister's room. Don't tell her. She'll definitely watch this. But anyways. Oh well. Um, so I've got... In here we literally have a bin bag. We have my little suitcase that's left. A backpack and sports bag that I'm taking. 
and then that's left to pack and I'm also taking that bag as my uni bag. I've got quite a bit to do. I also need to brush my teeth and yeah, finish getting myself ready and then we'll be good to go. It, I do feel like I'm gonna forget something so I'm just gonna try and not forget something. Um, I'm sorry if this vlog is kind of all over the place. I will try and film as much as I can, but obviously it's a big day and also I don't know like the uni room. I don't know my flatmates yet. I know a couple of their names, but I don't know them. No, no, no. I don't know, know them. So I'll just do what I can, but hopefully that'll be a fair bet. So I'll see you probably on the journey there. Um, we're driving because it's only, it's not very far from my house. Like it's like an hour, just over an hour. Um, and then we're going to get some lunch in the centre of Bath and then we're going to drive up to the university for my university accommodation like time so everyone i actually just said goodbye to my grandma and now my parents and me are going and this is how the car's looking oh my goodness we've still got one more bag which is like my handbag to get in but also that's my seat and my parents got to sit in the front it's literally so full oh my god wish us luck getting all of this out and into my uni room. I don't know how I'm meant to fit it all in, to be honest. I think I bought a bit too much. It feels so weird they're about to go. I don't, it doesn't feel real that I'm not like staying here tonight. Oh well, it'll be fine. I've got to say goodbye to my dog now. One of the hardest goodbyes. <laughs> not ready. have like a cupboard each like on room so this is my cupboard right there and then we also <laughs> we also have another cupboard this is my cupboard here and then oven two we have an induction hob a normal hob place to put hot pans sink bins a nicer bench and then we have two fridges fridge freezers a cupboard with an ironing board and iron and stuff and then this is my fridge that's my shelf and freezer drawer each there's six of us so we actually get one shelf each one drawer each which is good so everyone i'm really sorry i haven't been filming i've just been kind of busy obviously unpacking and like getting to know everyone it's kind of crazy um but i'm here but i wanted to give you like a more in-depth room tour i haven't actually completely like moved in yet like completely clean cleaned up but we'll give it anyway here's the door then you have the bathroom here and then there's my bedroom so we'll go in the bathroom it's like a wet room so i've got kind of shower um toilet that wouldn't stick on that wall so it's kind of just there for now and then mirror sink toiletries cool and then in my room i'm just going to turn the bathroom right off okay in my room i have a messy desk at the moment um printer monitor and I have like shelves up here which is cool and then um, my wardrobe and my bed so I've got also got coat hooks there um, and I haven't put anything on my wall yet I need to put some pictures up and things got a full length mirror which is good a um, little box of extra food there and then I've got two like under bed storage things under there so that's cool um, and then this is like by the side of my bed um, and then in my wardrobe, this is what it's looking like so far. So I've got most things that like, kind of hung up, but then pants and socks in there, and then like gym stuff and other tops and things down there. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it for my room. Um, but yeah, everyone's really nice so far and just enjoying the first night, which I think we're like, kind of going to stay in and just do some drinks and stuff, like as a flat, and then we're going to kind of do other stuff um, on other nights. But yeah, it's just really good so far, so very happy. 
um this might be it for this vlog i don't know i might carry on tomorrow i'll let you know how i'm feeling in the morning um but then it'll probably be it so see you again soon thanks for watching hey so this is future katie jumping in here i never ever uploaded my moving into uni vlog so this is what you're about to see it's a day full of nerves but me trying not to show you that um and honestly i was feeling as good as i said um when i moved into uni i was in just such a positive mindset and it was a really lovely day but i showed you a little room tour at the end and i thought you know what that room tour is not very helpful to anyone who's looking at the University of Bath um, and looking at Salisbury as their accommodation. So I thought I might as well do a little refresh for you um, just to add in at the end of this video and show you actually what my room looks like and give you a few little tips. So first of all, you're gonna have one of these doors that you can lock and it has a key. Don't lose the key. Second of all, walk in the room got this for Christmas. Mum bought me a little dog door stop. It doesn't stop the door. The doors are really heavy. You have hooks and everyone I've got into a room of here have these hooks. Also you have this pin board and that pin board above your bed and you also have a pin board above your desk. The door to the bathroom is right as you walk in. It's really annoying because it opens and like covers the whole door you have the lights here this one actually controls my bathroom and this one controls my bedroom which is like the wrong way around i need to clean around that light switch let me do that in a second then this is my bathroom i've just tucked the shower curtain up but you have a toilet a sink area which i showed you before that won't stick on that wall because it's painted so if you want to get like something to hang up definitely get it just like a straight across one you have two hooks and a tower rail very helpful. Bath bat, you need to keep it right by the door, otherwise the water will come quite close to the bath bat. Uh, but the water comes like to here for me, so yeah. Also, the floor isn't dirty from me. It was like that, it stained. You also get given a bathroom bin and a bedroom bin. They're not very nice, but I bought my own and you don't need to do that. So now those bins are just stacked up under my desk, okay? So, you get a really big desk area. Mine isn't very tidy right now, but I'm just trying to show you realistically what it looks like. Um, don't buy a printer. You won't use it. Go to the library to print your stuff off. I have used it, but it's really hard to do and you have to print with a printer cable because they won't. the Wi-Fi doesn't let you connect to a printer here. Clock is a helpful thing. I like that. Everything else, you've got... Um, quite a lot of storage. You've got space under, I put like my, my um, toilet rolls and my little travel suitcase and then the bins I'm not using under there. These drawers are deep and they're good. And then you need something to organise your stuff up here. That's why I've got these like little boxes. Um, those are all my textbooks, <laughs> some alcohol and small books and that's like very cluttered back there but you've got loads of space up there. So if you want to, get like lots of boxes and baskets to kind of have stuff up there. I need to organise up there, but it's above my wardrobe. Most people have, we all have the same wardrobes, mine's over brimming with clothes, but most people have their, their mirror on the inside of their door. I'm one of the only rooms, at least in my flat, that has a mirror on the wall just there. So, yeah. I would recommend getting like a laundry hamper or something that you could fit here. I could have more storage here rather than having things like that, but just how I've left things. Um, you have quite a lot of space under the bed. I recommend getting some things from Ikea, like some boxes like these, that's what I've got, they're quite deep. Um, but remember, it is a single bed. Um, you also get a bedside table, which I've currently got a tissue on, but you get a bedside table and my camera charger. Um, you can fit a box of tissues on there, you can fit whatever you need, chargers. Um, I've got maker remover and stuff back there. It's really, really deep. Um, and yeah, you can fit like, stuff stored there you also do get a light switch here but it controls the light above your bed not your main light and you get led control and chargers you've got a lot of charging ports and you get a light above your desk those are the things that i think i really wanted to know the curtains are pretty good they're blackout the windows aren't that like but they just open like this and you can hear practically everything when your windows open you can hear a lot when it's shut um Obviously your view depends on you, 
but yeah i just thought that's like a more comprehensive tour um of salisbury and i think to be honest it is a really nice accommodation would i put it over the other accommodations good question it depends what you're looking for um the one letdown i think that salisbury really has the same with marlborough is doesn't have like any sort of like sofa or like social area like even downstairs they haven't made use of any of that um so that's the one thing that i think quads um woodland court and even like eastwood um and westwood have more of i don't think westwood actually do but eastwood do um like social areas so yeah it honestly depends what you want but for the ensuite it probably is worth it um but you are paying the same as quads so i don't really know but there you go that's my comprehensive tour <laughs> if you have any questions now about what i think of salisbury and also like what um you need to buy for it because things like bins you don't need a toilet brush i already had a toilet brush um but things like that that i just didn't know whether to buy or not let me know drop a comment um and yeah i hope you enjoyed watching me move into uni i've been here well that was in september october november december january february I've been here five months now that's crazy um but yeah so hope you enjoyed watching and um i'll see you again very soon for another video bye <laughs>